If you've ever heard people talk about sprint car engines, or in particular, sprint car engine cylinder heads, unless you're in the know, it can be quite difficult to know what the differences are. Luckily, in this short video, Adam Kofer from Donut Racing Engines explains what the numbers mean, he talks about the different styles, and also gives an insight into when and why a driver or team would want a certain combination for their engine. Just before we get into the video though, we can see that over three quarters of our viewers haven't clicked subscribe yet. If you like anything that comes from Sprinker Hub and wanna keep seeing more unique and quality insights just like this, all you have to do is find the subscribe button and click it. It's super easy. By the way, if you're one of the many thousands that have already clicked subscribe, you can also join the thousands from around the world that have grabbed their Sprinker Hub merchandise over on SprinkerHub.com. All right, time for a quick lesson on Sprinker engine cylinder heads. The different numbers represent, first off, the size of the intake port, and the second thing they represent is the design of cylinder head. So like this, the first three numbers, which is like a, a 273, a 295, a 297, that primarily represents the intake port volume, which what that means is if you put the valve in and you port it with a, what we do with a barrette as far as CCing it, that volume would be approximately 295 cc's on these heads because this is a 295-4. The second part, which is the dash part, represents kind of the generation of head. And there's some different things in the layout and the way All Pro has the combustion chambers and the cylinder head itself designed. So like the way they progressed, there was a dash two. I'm sure there was a dash one, but I can't say I've ever seen one. Uh, there was the dash two, the dash three, which was relatively uncommon. Then the dash four, which would have been, I don't know what era it was. There, we still build them to this day. We, we've Got a really good dash four combination that we like. Um, so those are a newer combination. They still run real similar to what the, the quote unquote latest generation is, which is a dash five. Now your dash fives are gonna be like a 273 dash five, uh, 283 dash five, which is extremely common. Uh, 297, which can be either an 11 degree or a 13 degree. Like these heads here are a 297 13. So, Basically, that cylinder head, same sort of deal. 297 represents the volume of the intake port, but the runner is actually taller in these heads. It takes a longer valve, and it's raised up a little bit more. So if you were to look at this height here, this cylinder head is taller as far as the height of the intake port. Uh, the 11 degrees is even taller yet, and there's 10 degrees out there also. So, but basically, those are the big things you look at or the numbers. It's it's almost size to the racetrack. So the easy way to remember it is smaller number, smaller racetrack, uh, bigger number, bigger racetrack to an extent. Now that said, we have some combinations that we do where we run the small head on what we would call a big track engine, just trying to get get everything out of it for uh, different times of year and different, different racetracks and different way the atmosphere is because there's a theory out there and a lot of people hold to that the bigger ports so like this 295 a lot of people say that they don't like the way those run in the summer and when the air's really bad they're they tend to prefer them when the air's better early on in the season like down in florida or places where the correction factors um a lot lower so but those are the big things there's there's different things that they've done too is from the fours to the fives and the twos before that, the valves are in a little different spots. So some of the valve train stuff won't interchange. Uh, if you have custom pistons that are designed to the combustion chambers, these combustion chambers are a little different. The easiest way to see it is the exhaust is dished out more here. Um, whereas on the fours, it kind of comes straight across. So the five has a little bit different shape combustion chamber, spark plugs in a little different location, but, um, like I say, these are, the Dash 5 stuff is quote unquote the newer design. It's a little more common nowadays. If you're gonna get a new engine built by somebody, chances are it's probably gonna be a Dash 5. But uh, like I say, we still build a lot of Dash 4s. Um, we've got a really good combination there that uh, Anthony Macri in particular has won a lot of races with. So we haven't really deviated from that because it's, it's a proven combination, gets the job done, makes good horsepower and it's drivable. 